Namaste, I'm Dr. Rakesh Jalali. I'm the medical director of the Apollo Proton Cancer Center. Now, when a cancer patient comes to our clinic or in our hospital, naturally cancer word itself evokes different types of emotion. There is an emotion of fear for the diagnosis. There is the fear of uncertainty. What will happen to me, whether I will be cured, whether I will live or not. What will happen to my children? What will happen to my job? For a young person with a cancer or a child, they have their own issues. In the older patient, they have their own challenges. The fact also is that cancer treatment is relatively long and relatively complex. Many of the cancer patients may undergo surgery, they may undergo radiation therapy, they may undergo chemotherapy. Nowadays, there are different types of surgeries, the robotic surgeries, minimal invasive surgeries, there are different types of radiation. There is, for example, proton therapy, IMRT, intensity mod modality proton therapy, intensity modulated radiation therapy like tomotherapy. Similarly, the chemotherapy only always may not do. We may do immunotherapy, we may do targeted therapy. We also, the patients may also undergo frequent CT scans, MRI scans, PET scans. And it is a relatively long treatment few months sometimes and after that also they have to come for follow-up to see whether everything is okay. There is also the fear whether uh, it can be contagious, what will they do during the treatment, whether they can be happy in the family, whether they can do their normal activities, whether they can go to their jobs, whether they can, the, a lady, whether she can feed her child or can interact with her family members, whether they can eat on the same dining table. You know, that's as simple, what may appear to be very simple questions can dog and can be there in the patient's mind. To address these issues and to address the cure and survivorship and the new developments as a collective space, it has been amply demonstrated for the last many years now that we need cancer patient support groups that where we established a platform where the cancer patients who are unified by a common challenge and common medical issue within them and their families come together in a free space, not always in the constraint while outside waiting in a doctor's chamber or in the outpatient or in the inpatient or in the ward or outside the radiation therapy or outside the chemotherapy daycare such that they can vent their feelings freely in a very nice manner. We establish a very collaborative and very conducive environment for them to express their fears and their triumphs and their victories and winning over the battles as simple as getting a pick line done or a port done or completing successfully a radiation therapy plan or undergoing a major surgery, whether they can go for holidays, whether they should take this drug, whether they should take that drug. In the current digital information era of Google and Facebook and Twitter, they are also bombarded with lot of information. And sometimes also may I even say unscientific, non-proven me methods and they always talk to each other whether I, oh, I have not taken this medication, I have not gone to that center. I have not gone to that Baba to take this particular treatment. So there are lots of uncertainties in people's mind. So I have fortunately had a long association in this field in my previous institution in Tata Memorial in Mumbai. Way back in 2000, 2001, about 20 years ago, I established a brain tumor support group, which I used to do every month religiously, every Tuesday where we used to meet all the families and spend two or three hours together and discuss all these points which I have explained to you. From 2008 or 9, we started also where I participated in the Women's Cancer Initiative where we used to do a monthly support group exclusively for women's cancer, particularly for the breast cancer and gynecological cancers. Similarly, many of my colleagues started using, doing a head and neck support group, a gynecological cancer support group, a leukemia support group, a myeloma support group, a childhood cancer support group, 
a thoracic oncology support group and so on and so forth. In Apollo hospitals also we firmly believe in delivering world class care but with compassion. Like our chairman and vice chairperson Ms. Preeta Reddy always says cure with compassion, care with compassion. So along that philosophy and ethos we also establish a support group in Apollo Proton Cancer Center which is a state of the art comprehensive cancer center and has already carved a niche in the national and international scene to deliver cancer care of the highest order in terms of equipment, infrastructure and clinical faculty faculties that we have and the world class clinicians that we have. Yet we are extremely cognizant of the fact that we need to put people together to address this challenge of cancer in a very uniform, in a very holistic manner where we bring in experts of a dietitian, of a therapist, of a yoga instructor, of a holistic care instructor to take care of the issues that the patients might have. Because of the COVID pandemic, unfortunately, we are not able to meet physically as I had started in 2018-19. We used to meet religiously first Wednesday of every month. But we try to use as much as digital and online platform as much as possible. And because now that we are overcoming COVID to some extent, we will restart physically the support group meetings in different fields such that all our cancer patients can come together. At the same time, many of my colleagues, uh, including myself, we are participating in various national and international online support group meetings in different cancer fields to address and to give our expert advice and also to advise the patients and listen to them also. It's not only advising, it is listening to them, getting their feedbacks such that they will also vent their feelings and express their experiences, which also helps the doctors and the physician team also to learn from the patients and families such that we can be able to deliver a care appropriately and ultimately defeat this problem as a united friend together. No one person or no one doctor can claim that he or she can cure cancer. It is a united effort both from the doctors, from the physician team, from the nursing team, from the, all the operation teams that are involved and of course ultimately the patient and the family and whosoever are their nears and dear ones as a collective fashion.